Friends, let's say you are wondering what you need in your home shop starting out to get things done. Well, that's good because I am going to give you my opinion on the three tools, the only three tools that you actually need to do, honestly, let's say conservatively 80% of the work that really gets done on most bikes. And hopefully it's not super boring. This is my Breezer Thunder, and it currently sits in this mildly unrideable state because, well, I harvested some parts off of it for another steel mountain bike that I have, and I wanna get it back up into running condition. And literally, the only tools required to do this work, to get this thing back up and going, is Allen keys. Literally just Allen keys. I stole the one up dropper that was in the breezer to put into the Merino. So now I just need to reinstall the KS dropper that originally came on the breezer so that it still has a dropper. So for those of you who may remember the initial build of the breezer and one of the rides that Dan and I went on, I had complained mid ride that the cable had come undone from the actuator inside the seat tube, rendering the dropper post useless not working. Turns out it's because I didn't use this NARP, which cinches to the cable using Allen keys. So selfishly, this video, this exercise is very much going to work out in my favor because that is not going to happen again with that proper NARP on. I am borrowing the saddle that I had on the Schwinn because, well, I'm also borrowing the fork and the wheels too, so. But the real point in showing the install of the saddle and these pedals is just to drive the point home. All right, back together. Dropper post installed, fully functional, pedals put in, all using Allen keys. Um, I'll be honest, I cheated a little bit. I reused the cable that was already in there so I knew it was the right length. I don't want the fact that a dropper was used, that I didn't use a, a regular seat post and that there's a cable involved to take away from the sheer fact that 90% of fasteners on a bike are Allen keys. If there's something that you want to maintain, you want to change, you want to adjust, you're gonna have to use Allen keys. Go for an Allen key set like these. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Park Tool T-handle set. These are super nice. They're the nicest Allen key set that I've ever used. Full disclosure, I'm also supported by Park Tool. What I mean is don't just settle for a multi-tool. Working on a bike with individual Allen keys, single individual Allen keys is so much nicer than working on a bike with a multi-tool. The next singular tool, and I do mean singular tool, that you might need, or depending on what your bike is, might be obsolete for bike mechanics, is a Phillips head, head screwdriver. screwdriver. This kind, the X kind. If you ever decide you're brave enough to want to mess with the little screws on rear derailleurs and front derailleurs, well, decreasingly, a Phillips head will allow you to mess with those little screws that maybe you're not quite sure what do on a front or rear derailleur. But increasingly, the screws on derailleurs, they're actually starting, they're all starting to turn into Allen head machine screws. But it's, it's not the most uncommon thing in the world to see Phillips head, like a Phillips head machine screw in your derailleur to make derailleur tuning adjustments. You should own a Phillips head screwdriver, but it's definitely not as important as Allen keys these days. That's, <laughs> that's tool two, I guess. Now, third, and this is, this is truly and utterly the most important one. This will be universally agreed to by every person. And I'm directing this completely and utterly to you, Michelle, my sister-in-law. You can ignore owning Allen keys. You can ignore having a set of screwdrivers for doing any sort of basic tuning. But what you cannot ignore is owning a floor pump. And I mean a floor pump. Do not go to a store looking for the cheapest option and get a, this is a shock pump, but do not buy a tiny little hand pump to pump your tires up and maintain tire pressure. 
do not do that. This is what you need. This is what should be at home for maintaining your tire pressure. These are for taking out on rides and praying that you don't have to use it because they're honestly useless. They're not useless, but like, wow, that was really easy. Get a floor pump. And that, well, that in my opinion, of course this is opinion based, those are the three essential style tools to get you started in your basic beginner home mechanic tool set. Beating this point to death here, equipped with a set of Allen keys and a Phillips head screwdriver, any sort of like basic drivetrain tuning that you might want to try and take on and do for yourself, or even adjusting bars, changing bars, adjusting seat height, moving your stem to make sure that it's lined up with your front wheel, all of those little tasks that are very beginner friendly tasks to start on a bike, you can do them all with an Allen key set and a Phillips head screwdriver. As a matter of fact, you can probably do most of it depending on your bike with just Allen keys. And then most importantly, Michelle, have a floor pump. Treat yourself to decent, easy air inflation on your pneumatic bicycle tires. And then, well, if the bug bites and you enjoy messing with this stuff, well, geez, I could, I could tell you all the tools you should have, all of them. Mm -hmm.